This congressman was not having it with this do nothing Biden administration officials um, inability to answer a simple question. It's really not a trick question. Have you ever been a business owner? Uh, Congressman Woman McLean, I have never owned a business, but Thank I have you absolutely very much. managed see businesses. See how simple that is? I ask a question. You don't need to ruffle around. You just give me an answer to the question I have. It's, re it's really simple, right? And things will go a lot faster. Because as the person in charge, don't you think you should have some answers? Because if you don't ans have any answers, who should? Right? You're the boss. And I love it when we have all these people come in to testify. They're in charge. I mean, they write a 300-page rule, but yet when we ask them a simple question, they can't answer it. That's pretty disturbing to me. Like, if you're in charge, you're in charge. I don't think it's too much to ask that the person in charge be able to answer a simple question. So if we could just have some simple ground rules, and I'm even all right with an I don't know, right? I don't expect you to know everything, but I do expect you to know something, right? So let's start with this. You're not a business owner, yet you're making laws for business owners. How many business owners did you consult before making this laws, this law? So, Congressman McLean, we absolutely, specifically, as you're if, talking about the um, the independent contractor um, or employee classification under the Fair Labor Standards Act, just yep. to make sure we're talking about the same thing. We held um, listing sessions specifically for business owners and for sm 10, small 10, 20, businesses. 100, 1,000, 1,500. Give me a gut feel. We held, I believe we held about 27, 30 uh, listening sessions. So I don't want to tell you li wrong. That's but. okay. No, no, I'm, I'm looking for directional answers. It's, it's honestly not a gotcha question. Because what I think the American taxpayer is frustrated with, the American people are frustrated with, and the business owners is we all are making laws for business owners, yet we don't listen to them. We don't take their opinion into consideration. And we make laws and we don't have any idea of the unintended consequences of what those laws will do to the actually people who have to, have to administer those laws. So about 30 listening sessions. And what did the actual business owners have to say? So uh, Congressman McLean, again, and I participated personally in a lot of these, so I do want to answer this question uh, very Wonderful. clearly. Although we had lots of team members. But let's who get to the these. answer. So um, we heard a lot of, um, of feedback from business owners that they specifically wanted to make sure they understood what the responsibilities were under the Fair Labor Were they in favor Act. of it or against it? So as we were listening oh, to my them, my heavenly we were, days. Let, they, never mind. We're, we're not going there. The, let's the get. Proposal. Let's go on to another question that we can answer, right? And I, I'm going to share with the American people, if you get somebody who's in charge, especially in a government entity that can't answer a question, you should ask yourself, do we need to replace this person who can't answer a simple question? I mean, my goodness gracious, the disappointment that I have that you can't even answer a simple question is unbelievable. Yet you want to be in charge and you want to tell the very people who you have no clue about their business what they can and can't do. That to me is repulsive. Okay, there, there are so many different things going on here. Let's let's break all of this stuff down. First of all, and I think the thing that is the reason that this congresswoman is so upset, is so irritated uh, by all of this right now, is that we have basically these do-nothing DC bureaucrats. You have to understand, these people have really done nothing but worked in DC and pretty much failed upward their entire careers. The very first question this congresswoman asked is, have you ever run a business? And and so this 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 woman uh, does not answer does not answer the question straight. She does all this back and forth. She wants to do all this. No, she says, "Have you ever run or owned a business?" And the answer is no. So why is it? That in D.C., we have so many people who have never owned and run a business, who have never employed, who have never hired and fired, who have never had to balance the books, who have never had to make payroll, who have never done any of these things that you have to do to even run a small business. These are the people that are in charge of setting the agenda and setting the rules for small businesses all across the country. The first thing you have to ask is how on earth did we even get into that position? We got into that position because we have a lot of people 
in D.C. who have done nothing. All they are are bureaucrats. All they are are paper pushers. And they say, oh, we had listening sessions uh, with small business owners and entrepreneurs. We had listening section sessions to see what we should do. And we all know that these people are going to do what they're going to do anyway, particularly in the Biden administration. You have to understand that liberals, Democrats, people on the left – um, are not small business friendly, are certainly not entrepreneur friendly. Um, the only thing that they want to do is create another government program um, to to sort of replace, you know, whatever these small businesses are anyway. And so if there is ever an exchange that is that is more indicative of how utterly useless most of Washington, D.C. is, this is it. 